Hey guys, what's up? It's Luke, representing Max Down Muscle. Today I'll be taking y'all through a shoulder workout. And this right here is the warm up, just doing some behind the neck presses and light weight. So each exercise we do, it's just the first set. That's what you're seeing. I'm not going to keep showing more and more sets. I don't think there's really a point to that. Unless you just want to see a whole workout and the intensity of it. This right here is the actual weight for the behind the neck presses that we're using to gain muscle. And um, yeah, this right here is like 125. I think I hit that for 12 reps. Um, not sure. I believe it was 12, but it might have been like 9 or 10. I got a good bit of them. But yeah, my shoulders are pretty strong compared to the average person. I mean, I'm not the biggest bodybuilder out there that can push a lot of weight, but I'm pretty strong compared to the average person on shoulders and compared to the rest of my body on Your other face. movements. Okay, this right here is the dumbbell okay, press. I don't like to try. I don't like to try and bring them together at the top because that'll put more triceps. I like to keep them out more above the shoulders and work on my shoulders. And I go all the way down and then up to where I feel my arms lock out. Okay, this exercise, let's see. Oh yeah, this is the front press because the, the, the weight's a little bit lighter, but we had to switch back to doing a, just a front standing press and it was a little bit lighter and but I felt really strong in it because we had just used dumbbells and then the nervous system it works harder on dumbbells and this is about the same weight and then we come back to the barbell and it's a lot easier so that's how I feel about that and I do everything standing by the way just that's how I work my core the obliques get worked really good so you'll see my obliques in my upcoming shred so here we go um okay this is the penitentiary style we went down halfway and then up all the way and then to the bottom vice versa you know so yeah now we're going to be doing some rear delt raises my friend Madison was there for the workout he just recorded but he did the same thing as me but not as many sets and this is rear delt raises I get a good squeeze it's okay to like bounce a little bit as long as you work on that squeeze and keep the tension on the muscle and if you're not if you're a newbie though uh, in the gym I would try and do it to the best form you could. Okay, so lat side lateral raises right here. And um, yeah, just get that good squeeze at the top, control it on the way down. Bounce sometimes to, to keep that tension on the muscle. After a while, you'll learn how to do that. And I'm about 200 pounds now, by the way. And I think I'm around 20, 25% body fat. Kind of fat, but it's, it'll be worth it when I shred. Okay, here are the calves, horizontal calf raises. These are my favorite exercise. And uh, yeah, just getting that good stretch and that good squeeze on there. That's what you really gotta worry about. And I go pretty heavy, so. And there's another angle right there. It looks pretty funny from that angle anyways. <laughs> but yeah, anyways guys, thanks for watching that workout. Hopefully, some of the advice I shared with y'all, um, y'all will be able to learn and take from and use. So. We did, for each um, exercise, we did a lot of sets, probably about five, six. And then, um, yeah, like the three of the presses, like I like to do a lot of pressing, like behind the neck, front, and then side, like dumbbells. So I hit the shoulder on presses from a bunch of different angles. That helps give me a lot of size. And then um, I try not to do too much isolation on shoulders. But I do a little bit at the end, five to six sets on both those exercises. I put a lot of emphasis on the rear delts, not as much on the side delts, but the rear delts because that's always hard to get. And yeah, the striations are coming in. They're just underneath the fat. It's going to be hard to see until I'm shredded. I plan to get about from 5 to 10% body fat when my shred starts in February. So... I plan to be between 5 to 10 percent before summer, which should be easily doable because that's a lot of time. And yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take me to get there, but I don't think it'll take me too long. I'm going to work at it and I'll keep y'all updated. But yeah, thanks for listening to me talk and thanks for watching my workout. Hopefully, y'all learned something. And yeah, thanks for watching. And don't forget to max out that muscle.